Grand Rising Witches, Wizards, Warlocks, and Warriors. Message of the day. So I have two messages for you this morning. Actually, right, so I want to talk about dreams since we're in Pisces season. Um, and this is like dreams that you're dreaming at night, right? Uh, this is just a quick message here. So I'm reading, there's just, I have a couple of dream books. Dreams and Healing is the one that I have here. But I was reading into them, and sometimes you might not really necessarily know what your dreams are trying to say, but the more you really try to figure it out and decipher what it's trying to say, you're actually building your intuition, it's making your mind stronger, it's enhancing your spiritual capabilities and your spirituality overall. So really try to dive in, try to really remember them, and and because it's gonna help you build your, your intuition and your overall spiritual practices and belief systems and strengthen your mind in general. So I think we should all be doing things that strengthen our mind in general. So. That's just a tip there, like really try to dig down so you can really tap into this Piscean, you know, um, new moon energy that's coming in that you're probably already feeling, thinking about your wishes and your biggest dreams, bringing them to life. Um, but there might be a message in your dream, so really dig into it. People, places, things. Okay, let's get into message of the day. I'm doing it like this because because I just felt compelled to. So I'm gonna pull cards here. I'm gonna pull four cards and some oracle. This one wants to come out. Haha, <laughs> strength card. Eight of eight of shields. Five of wands. Two of pentacles. Pull some oracle cards here. Hmm. Oh, okay. this is again about authenticity. Um, willpower. And something is coming back full circle with the two of pentacles here. Something's coming back to balance. I'm pretty sure it's how you portray yourself. Anger. Shamanic healing, wow, and judgment, yes. How am I gonna do this? Okay. Okay. So we're really looking at the strength card with the eight of eight of shields. And the strength card is about you know confidence, having the confidence on you know, I really think this is authenticity and and and, and portraying yourself vulnerably and who you really are with the strength card, right? Without judgment and being confident in how you're portraying yourself. As I said, there's judgment here because you've been working hard on yourself, right? You've been working hard on who you are and be trying to stay confident in your power or trying to stay confident during any in situation. If you're going through things like you're trying to be very, you know, in your power, creative as heck and and I'm confident and I'm secure and maybe in my decisions that we're, I'm making here. But then there's like an aspect that you're battling yourself, right? You could be questioning your belief systems. You could be having to compete with other people. Other people very well might, might not like your, your vulnerability. They might, they might see it as, as, you know, their own judgment. They might, they might envy the fact that you can portray yourself so authentic. And, and portray so much confidence. And I feel like, the uh, uh, interesting, I put the anger card on this side because I feel like there there's an aspect that people might be angry with you or you even might be angry with yourself. And you're working hard. Willpower is about make, that you have the power to make the, choice, the choices in your life. Maybe you're scared of judgment. You're scared of other people and what they might say to you. And and there is other people involved or this very well can just be you and your belief systems and you very well could be changing your authenticity or, or how you authentically portray yourself and you're stepping up to the plate here willpower is like you know you have the choice to do so and if you're not portraying yourself authentic and vulner or vulnerable like you want to be or or as as courageous as you really are right? i think there's just an aspect here that people are kind of intimidated by the way that you shine your light with this Leo energy. They very well can be intimidated. Some people can be angry. You might be angry with yourself at maybe how you used to portray yourself. 
because maybe it's coming from, stemming from a place of judgment. You don't want to be judged. You don't want people to 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 see the real you, or you don't fit in where you are. People, places, and things. And I understand that everyone has their own unique path and changes and challenges. You know, and you could be just judgmental because you feel like you don't fit in or your story doesn't line up with theirs or I can't be my real true self, you know, wherever this might be or there might be a person that you're putting up a facade with that you're trying to date. And at the end of the day here, I want you to say that it's coming full circle, the two of shields, right? There's something here that's coming back to balance. Two of shields can also be just trying to find the balance, trying to find the balance between this. And I really think it's about you. Of course, I always do readings for self. And I feel like it's you coming back to full circle, coming back to who you really are, coming back to, to the person that, that you want to be, right? The, the light is shining on that person. And you really ultimately do have the power to, to make those choices and you have the, the, the capabilities to portray yourself how you really want to portray yourself here. Bottom of the deck of the shamanic healing is the truth, right? Right? Maybe you weren't saying the truth about yourself or, you know, and sometimes we just do it unconsciously because it's just like, well, that's how I am at work. And when I'm at home, I'm a certain way. I, I don't want this to be like, you're not, you're doing wrong. It's, it's, I think you're, and with this Pisces new moon, I really feel like you are just, just identifying differently. You are weighing out the pros and the cons with the two of, two of pentacles here. And you're juggling, you know, who am I? How do I want people to see me? Leo energy, the strength card is about how people see you when you walk into the room. What light are you shining? And I do, to be honest, I do feel that people are intimidated by you. I'm not going to lie. I really do. Why it's all happening, bottom of the deck. <laughs> the Fool, Page of Cauldrons, Ace of Cauldrons. You're free, right? You very well can jump off a cliff and go anywhere you want to go and jump off the cliff. And you're really doing things. You have enough love in your cup to pour out. And I really feel like people might not like that. You're doing things from a loving space or, or this also could say that you really should be doing things for yourself. And you very well might be. Some of you might be going somewhere else or jumping off the cliff or starting something new because it just doesn't sit with you. You can't be authentic in the workplace. Right? There's too much people that don't that don't understand who you are and you can't portray your true self and there's too much judgment there, right? You know, and if you have the capability to remove yourself, some of you very well might. Like and, and at the same time, some of you very well might be realizing, like, you know what, I'm gonna start new and I want people to see who I really am. And I want to I want to to pour out the love and the emotion that I have in my cup because I've been doing the work, right? If you're watching my channel, you've been doing the work, we're doing the work. And we want to pour out to others, so we might go in a different direction. If this is just for you alone and there's other, other people aren't involved, you really are going to go after whatever fills your cup up and whatever satisfies your needs, and whether you're figuring that out, figuring out what pours your what what fills your cup up, or you're you're just just in that solo vibe, listening to your intuition. There's the raven there on her shoulder. That's the intuition. And you're just about to jump off the cliff, card number zero. You could be starting over, you could be starting over in who you authentically are. Right, two days in a row that this message kind of comes out with portraying herself in, 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 with, an, with authenticity. And for some signs, that's a big, 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 big highlight for the new moon in Pisces. Aries for sure and Pisces for sure. Right, Authentic. Authentic. It's actually the most challenging, actually, if, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Capricorn as well. The new moon in Pisces is going to be a little challenging for them because it is about um, them and their identity. Right, first house, their appearance, how they look, how they look to the rest of the world. Let's pull from the fallback. Balance, slow down, lighten your load so you can float. Like I said, there really is something here that's coming into balance. <clears throat> there very well can be separation of some sort here. I'm not, I'm not going to deny that either. Um, because, you know, the, you're working on your craft. You have been working on your craft and this is the only shoemaker on a boat, right? And where is he going? He's working on his craft and heading in the direction of, of mastering what he needs to do. His skill set is mastering. And you have put a lot of time and effort into your skill set and into your into your belief systems, right? So you very well might be dipping out. 
Sweat it out, get out of your head and into your body. Practice yoga, exercise, freeze the mind. Now I needed this yesterday, dead ass, like dead ass, because I was so in my head. All of this can really get to you because you're like, shit, don't I fit in? But then you're thinking about stability, then you're thinking about like every other factor that it has to do with. Like me portraying myself authentic is a big deal because it can impact a lot of things. I'm like, where I'm gonna work, where I'm working, wh who I'm with, who my partner is, right? It impacts a lot. And sometimes we really get in our head and with this Pisces new moon, it's just don't really feed into that energy. Really just, just trust in your higher powers that it'll all play out, right? It's just energy that's moving and we're here to work with it. It's energy, I'm not, I'm not predicting the future. I'm not saying that these things are gonna happen, but it could possibility this could be a possibility, but get out of your head is really what I want to say out of this card because you're gonna you're gonna eat yourself up from the inside out. And one more rest and recharge. See, take it easy today. Even in stillness, there is movement, right? Just just one of my my classmates was just like, just just let the energy flow through and sit with it. Don't judge it, don't critique it, don't try to analyze it. Nada. And I preach that all the time, and it's so interesting that my that my classmates we were in a group session yesterday, and and it was therapeutic because it's nice to hear what other people tell you things that I always tell you guys, and sometimes I need to hear it too. So I hope this message resonates with you. My name is Alvin Catalan. I am present. I'm done speaking now.